Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunkett here from the Puppet and Geek. We're just about to jump into VR of Resident Evil 7. We're gonna experience this right now, you and me, really, you know, fresh. I haven't even played it yet, and I think it's gonna be a really great experience. Now, because this game is still under embargo, I can't show you guys the finer details of the game in terms of, you know, certain stories, boss matches, and all that stuff, because obviously it's still under embargo, and that way you can experience it for yourself when you pick up the game soon. So let's jump into it. Now, this is going to be, this is what's really exciting about this is, this is one of the first VR games, uh, full-fledged VR games to hit PSVR, one of the things that people have been waiting for a very long time. Hey, baby. Is this in-game footage? I don't know, that looks incredible. I doubt it. This is real life, right? Now, I might have to cut it here, just because, obviously, this is the, like, the introduction to the game. So I don't want to spoil it too much. So we're going to cut here and just jump straight into the thing. I got to get out of this. Oh shit. The way out, you know. Ah, oh, shit. 
Oh, that was fucking close. Oh shit, my heart's like racing right now. So, what's really cool about the game is when moving around, like you gotta hide from, you know, people who are in the house and, you know, all these people. So right now, I'm just popping my head around a corner and I can actually pop out quite well as well, like, you know, not be seen and then, you know, uh, without insight as well. So I have to slowly creep around and it's, it's really tense because you're trying to be as slow as possible but at the same time, you know, move forward within the game as well. Oh fuck! How the fuck? Okay. Ah! <laughs> safe place, safe place, safe place, safe place, safe place, safe place. Oh shit! I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! Ah! He can't get me! Oh, he got me. Okay, I'm dead. I'm gone. I like you. Ah! Punch him! You know. Ah! Ah! Where's the thing? Ah! Get away from him! Get away! Ah! Ah! Oh, God damn it! I can't move. As well, throughout the game, you've got these sort of, um, you know, tape recorders here, which you can actually save as you go, uh, as opposed to just the automatic saving as well, which is also really handy. And you'll notice that it will pop up on the screen, just let you know that maybe something's about to happen and it will save, it will auto save. Whereas here, what's really great, you find these sort of safe places, I guess, which allow you to sort of save as you go uh, and then continue further. I think this is a good time to sort of just talk about the surroundings and visually how the game works uh, in VR. Now obviously you can play this game in two modes in VR and just your standard mode and obviously it's going to look so much better in its standard uh, way and how it was meant to be played but it's really great how you can actually experience this game in virtual reality as well because it's a whole different experience. What's really interesting though is like they did a pretty good job with the detailing i think for the vr so <laughs> they really stink cool uh, it's just really interesting there's small minor details things that you can knock with your body as well i think it's really interesting uh, also the controls work fairly well so basically you can turn your head if i was to move forward to this door for example so let me just adjust myself so i'm sitting straight um, so if I move forward, but if I tilt my head, I'll move in that direction as well, which is really interesting. Uh, but if I want to do quick turns, you can use the right stick to sort of snap in those directions. Um, so when you're moving forward, you can snap and do it that way as opposed to continuously turning your head. But basically, I wanted to share a few things in the game that I thought was, which is really interesting and that, talking about VR. Now, the virtual reality aspect of this game is really amazing. They have to give props to the development team for making such a detailed game and as well something the most important thing about PlayStation VR is the tracking and I think that's so important in a game especially like this where it is so important to have subtle movements of the head of the tilting action and moving of the body and makes you feel like you're actually the character in the game looking around a corner like so. If I was standing behind here I can actually physically look around this corner and feeling really immersed in there and it's just amazing. One other thing as well is 
the detailing, the textures, everything is quite well, especially for PlayStation VR. Now, we all know there's some games out there that look okay, but not really the best. And I think something like Resident Evil or AAA title like this is going to push PlayStation VR bit further and more bigger AAA, you know, development teams are going to jump on board and make companion games of, you know, in VR because that's the thing a lot of companies now they're making sort of side games to their you know existing game whereas Resident Evil has made the entire game in VR which I think is a really great experience and you can experience the game a whole nother way you know whichever way you play it first and I think that's really interesting Hey, over here! Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No! All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons late. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. I calm down. You're not listening to me. Help me, man! There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me! Oh, he's gonna get stabbed. Right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. I'm one of them. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. This guy. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now that's more like it. My hand's now, been stitched back on. Wrong. We'll talk later. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look. Officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. He's gonna you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. Nice. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. Oh, God. What am I gonna do with a knife? Ah! <clears throat> uh oh, where's Granny? Oh my God. One second. <laughs> I'm playing Resident Evil. And something fell, and I'm gonna check it out because I don't wanna get fucking stabbed. <laughs> no one's gonna hear that. Officer, hey, let's go. We gotta get the fuck out of here. No, let's first, go. you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. What do you mean? Me. We gotta go. What about you? No, it's my job. We gotta go. Don't you do your job and tell me. Answer my question. Do my job, you do your job. Uh, yep. Hey, you should, uh. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Oh, shit. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Hi. I got a knife. Ah, ah. You will not get it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. Ah. Oh shit. That was hard. Ah, fuck. Block, 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 block. Oh, I'm down. Oh, fuck. You can't take on an old man? Oh, shit. Uh, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Oh, shit. Ah, 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 See ya. What do I want to be, ya? Oh. Oh, fuck! Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, oh. Oh, boy! Now look what you've done, motherfucker! What the fuck? Ow! Is the devil! Ah! He's gonna crush my head! Holy shit. Whoa! Oh. Oh, hang on. What was this like? <laughs> Up we go. Ah! Fuck! 
Kill him! Shoot him! Fuck! Oh! I get it! I think... So, they somehow... When they, when they die, they're respawning... I don't fucking know... Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was scary as shit. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining me in the world of Resident Evil. It's been an amazing experience playing it on the PlayStation VR, and I can't express enough. Even just standing in this room is just eerie. There's small creaks, noises, windows are, you know, shaking. There's even the refrigerator noise is in the background and that's just scary enough because you're just waiting here in silence and you can hear all these things happening. The guys, uh, they did an amazing job, I think, with the uh, virtual reality side of stuff. I mean, for what it is, it looks amazing, textures look great, and I think it's one of the best games yet to hit PSVR. Uh, especially for a AAA title like this, to experience a full game in VR is just amazing and I wish more companies will do it as well and hopefully this will be the step forward that the PlayStation VR needs uh, to experience games like this. Uh, the tracking has been amazing, everything, the detailing, even like these food, I'm just hitting this chair around and like it's just really creepy like let's just sit like just just be a silent for like, two seconds you can hear the refrigerator in the background a little hum over there there's a grandfather clock you can hear that actually ticking away there's also i think a window over there that's shaking every now and then and it's just so eerie Every step you take, you know, on certain different floorings as well make different sounds. It's just amazing. I can't express it enough. And I wish, if you are picking this game up and you have a PSVR, you know, let me know what you think of the game so far. Um, the intro is just amazing and hopefully you can experience it as well. Share your thoughts in this video. Uh, as this game is still embargoed, obviously there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't show earlier and a lot of stuff that I didn't want to continue on because I don't want to spoil it for anyone because this is such an amazing experience and I think just showing this right here is just enough. And if you want to see more of that, leave a comment, subscribe and we'll be sure to continue on. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. This has been Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. What was that? <laughs> even just like trying to finish this intro, there's like these other noises that I haven't even heard before. This has been Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on the PlayStation VR. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. That is so scary. <laughs> oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha